Yo, my name is Benjamin and this is the September update. Starting with all new fav icons. You can now upload a light and a dark mode version of your fav icon, allowing you to design optimized versions for each, like we're now using on Framer.com. Next, we also added Apple Touch icon support to your site images. So you can design your own app icon when people add your website to their home screen. Next, say I'm iterating on a design and I change a few props that I then ultimately want to reset back to their default value. Now I can right click on these stepper controls in any numeric input to instantly reset it back to its default value. This is really nice for rapid iteration. Next, some split inputs don't have these stepper controls because they don't fit. If you still want to scrub these values, like 3D rotation values or padding per side, you can now click and drag from the label to scrub its matching numeric input. And this works for any property with these split inputs. Next, components like videos and code components now have access to all styles like blending, blur and all filters. Very useful for creative effects. Next, we updated the copy image action to copy fill, adding support for colors and gradients as well. So I can hit copy, select another layer, and then paste its fill. Very easy and very fast. And those were a few highlights of the September update. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more updates coming soon.